Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are again doing another photo card storing video. It, th I feel like this is actually the first time that I'm doing a storing video not too long after my previous one, even though it's probably been like a month, I think, which is kind of a while. But I do have a shit ton of cards to put away. I didn't even realize how many cards I would have to put away until now because I was like, oh, there's not too many comebacks and stuff. So I'm not gonna have that many like cards. But I've accumulated a lot. So bag's getting full. I am so excited because this is the first storing video that I'm filming after my binder makeover. So yeah, if you guys haven't watched that and this looks kind of unrecognizable, definitely check that video out. Anyways, let's just get right into it. This video is actually sponsored by Skillshare. Yay, sponsorship come through. If y'all don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people like you and me. A lot of people always ask me about how to start a K-pop YouTube channel, whether it's about editing videos or making thumbnails or whatever. And Skillshare is definitely the perfect start to learn how to do all these things. There are literally so many classes about editing using different video editing programs and how to grow your channel and not even just classes about youtube you can literally find classes about anything on there like learning another language for example you know korean cooking and just basically anything so personally i always have a lot of trouble using procreate which is an app that i use to make my thumbnails and i love how there's literally so many different classes that i can take to help me use procreate better and just to make more pop and thumbnails you know so as you guys can see here i'm taking the ink illustration techniques in procreate class by liz color brown yeah you can take as many classes as your heart desires all for less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription but the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. So yeah, definitely check the link in my description and start your free trial to Skillshare and just start learning, you know? So yeah, thank you so much again for Skillshare for sponsoring and let's get back to the video. So we do have a lot of alt stuff. You know, if you guys know, my alts are Stray Kids Hyunjin, 17 Vernon, and NCT's Mark. So we can go ahead and start with this binder. Yeah, like I said before, this is the first time I'm finally filming a storing video after this major photo book, I mean, photo card binder makeover. And it's honestly super nice that I don't have to lug around like a giant, like super thick photo book. I mean, I keep saying photo book, photo card binder. I can just, you know, take like mini binders out and it makes my life a little easier. So yeah, so I pre-organized this beforehand so I don't have to like spend like 20 minutes shuffling through everything. So this is all of my, these are all of my, not, actually not even all of my Stray Kids photo cards because I do have some of this stuff. Yeah, I think that's it for my ults. So this is um, my Baiyi stuff. If you guys didn't watch my Baiyi haul, first of all, watch it. Second of all, I still haven't put away the photo cards that I got from it. I got a shit ton and there's a lot of like my old photo cards in here. So you definitely need to take care of that. And then there's some like Hyunjin stuff in here. So I also need to take care of that. Oh, I'm also forgetting a couple of things that I left in here as well. Like I traded for this recently, so I need to put that in there as well. Also another Polaroid thing that I got recently, this Mark photo card that I traded for. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure that's like all of my old stuff. If I forget something, I just go back to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and start storing these photo cards. This Bai Yi haul though, like truly comes in clutch because I got so many of the photo cards that I needed through this Bai Yi haul. So thank you again, Bai Yi, for partnering with me. If you want to hit me up again, then my emails are open. So yeah, but I'm like finishing so many like collections with this. So very happy about that. So this is all like Stray Kids stuff. So first, of course, we have the mixtape behind photo card. I've been wanting this for literally forever, so I'm really glad that I finally got it. I also totally forgot that I have these Ultra Pro sleeves now. Yes, I finally like upgraded and I got these thick ass Ultra Pro sleeves, which are so much nicer than the sleeves that I had before. 
I don't know why I didn't get this sooner, but I am only sleeving my Stray Kids photo cards and my Old Spinder photo cards because obviously I'm not gonna go and sleeve every single photo card I own. That's just gonna be way too much. It's too late at this point, but yeah, we can go ahead and sleeve it. So for the people who are commenting like, wow, he doesn't sleeve his photo cards. That's why, but I am trying my best, so. Yeah, oh my god, I can't believe this is finally complete. I've been waiting so long for this to be complete, so... Yeah, and then... Let's see what else we have to fill in. Oh yeah, my Go Live collection is also complete because I got this card off by E, so... Super happy about that. Completing these collections is just so satisfying, you know? I never really, like, complete, like, full member sets, like, usually. I know a lot of people, like, typically do this, but... I don't know, I'm kind of a weird photo card collector, so it's really satisfying to see this complete. And then we we also have the Taiwanese Yellowwood selfie right here. This card is kind of hard to get because the Taiwanese press albums are usually more expensive, so it makes the photo card more expensive, so super happy I got that. And then I don't have the IMU selfie yet, the one in the beret. I really want that one, but maybe in the future, but I also don't have the SKZ 2020, but I do have both of the um, top PCs. So one of them is in here. So this is the pose one, which is this one, and then the close-up one, which is right here. So yeah, completed the um, top collection as well, which is really nice. And luckily I joined the group order for this one and I pulled the, this is a high touch photo card, so yeah, I'm glad I got that out of the way because the high touch ones are, you know, obviously since, since they're high touch ones, they're a lot more expensive, so yeah. And then I also have this Stay in London photo card, also from Bai, so yeah. So let's put that there. Oh, I can't believe I completed this much of this freaking collection though. That's insane. But now we have a new era, which is um, in life. Wait, I just realized this photo card is upside down. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, so now we have to do in life because <sighs> Stray Kids already has a comeback, which is insane. The fact that I didn't even put away all my go live photo cards and they already have a comeback is crazy. So I only have one photo card from go live. Oh yeah, and I also have my stay in playground photo cards. I need to put that away as well. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. So, okay, this is Hyunjin. I got the pre-order accordion thing. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to trade for some Hyunjin stuff, let me know because I am missing a couple of things here and there. I have this the Sub-K pre-order, and then I have one of his Polaroids, and then I pulled this one in, in life. I don't know. I think I'm going to put these unit ones in the Stray Kids um, photo card binder, so not in here, and these are not Hyunjin, okay, so, okay, so let's put these away, okay, since the London photo book is here, I'm gonna start the stay in playground here, I'm not gonna collect all of the Polaroids and pre-order benefits, that's crazy, but I'm gonna try to get as much as I can, so if you guys have any Hyunjin Oh fuck, I forgot to sleeve these. If you guys have any stay in playground Polaroids and you guys want to trade for one of my other ones, then hit me up. So yeah, I already made a Twitter post about it, but no one has like DM'd me wanting to trade yet. So I'm not going to collect all of them because there's like so many. So that's crazy. But anyways, and then we also have to make another page for in life. I also have to open my last pack of Ultra Pro sleeves because I was running low. There's that. And then I think there's not that many photo cards for in life. So thank God. I think there's only three of Hyunjin solo. So I'm too lazy to make like these like placeholders. So let's just leave like room right here. <laughs> and I don't think these would fit in these. Nope. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, I could just put it here. Perfect. So this is like my pre-order thing. Oh yeah, and I also have my Yellowwood Polaroid that someone traded with me recently, which I'm so happy about. Oh my God, so can't believe I have both of the Polaroids here. Ugh, this is just so freaking satisfying. Okay, that is all for Hyunjin. 
that was actually a lot. So yeah, now we're moving on to Mark. I only have one, so it's not that big of a change, but this is his final round. Oh yeah, so it goes up here. Yay, thank you for trading. So there's that. And then we have so many Vernon photo cards. Like, oh wait, I'm so... Hold up, okay, I have all this Mark stuff. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm literally a freaking mess. I did not see that, so... Okay, first let's put this circle card away here. And then most of these are like non-album photo cards. Like these four are not album photo cards. These three are those, so let's see. This one is Neozone. I think this is a T version. Oh, so I completed his Neozone like photo card collection. I don't have the Kino obviously, but okay. So that means I need to scoot these down. So, <laughs> okay, so I'll put this down here and then I'll put this one next to it and then I could put the T version right here and then this is for the Kino if I ever get it I swear to god NCT Kinos are literally like the hardest things to get ever like people are selling Kino photo cards for like especially Mark since Mark is a popular member they always sell his for like $35 and honestly I am not I'm not that down yet to spend $35 on a photo card, but I feel like in the future it's gonna be more expensive, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyways, okay, Japanese photo card goes over here. Maybe if I'm really desperate for his Kino photo card, I will drop like 30 bucks for his photo card, but $30 is a lot of money for a photo card, so yeah. Oh, this Polaroid does not fit, but this is for his Awaken. Polaroid. I can just put this here. It's fine. And then it's just a little too big. And then we have these ones. So this, I think this is from the Japan Ace Kit. And then this is from the Korean Ace Kit. And then this is from Welcome to My Playground. And this is the Saitama Superstar photo card. Special photo cards go in here. So yeah, like in my makeover video, I literally like you know, I went through and I made sure everything was organized, so yeah, and actually I did buy NCT's like newest ace kit, I think for 2020 for 127. I ordered it already. Um, I didn't even know it came out until I saw like people selling sets on Twitter. And I probably should have just bought a Mark set on Twitter because that probably would have been better, but I just decided to buy the entire kit, so yeah, I don't know when the hell that's gonna arrive though. It hasn't even shipped yet, so yeah, I have no clue when that's gonna arrive, but hopefully soon. Oh, I should put these together. Oh my gosh, yes. So I'll move this ID picture down here. And then this will go down here. Okay, that's all the Mark stuff. So now it's time for the ultimate Vernon completion. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this yes okay i still need to get this you make my day card the one in like the black and white shirt that's like seriously one of the cutest cards but i haven't been able to find it so i still need to find that but oh yeah and i also have some duplicate cards as you guys can see because from Baiyi, like i couldn't like buy it separately so i just bought it all together so I think I might just like sell this or trade it for a different card. So there's that. I think I have the other one for this one though. Do I? Oh my God, I don't. I thought I bought the other version for this. What is this? Truth? Nope, I don't. Okay. Um, oh wait, this is Truth. Wait, why are they different colors? What the heck? Um, what? <laughs> wait, am I tripping? No, I'm not, right? Okay, so I guess I... Oh wait, is there four versions? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. There's four versions of each um, version for photo cards. I'm so stupid. Okay, so this is for like the truth, the second type. So I guess I'll start it like over here. See, this is why I left room. I think in my previous storing video, I left like extra space so that I can fill these in. Just fill these gaps in, yo. Hashtag genius, but... Oh yeah, this is the other hope version. So let's put that there. This photo card is so beautiful though. Like, I love like outdoor nature-y photo cards. So that's my type. 
and then this is an extra so need to get rid of that this is the other hope version so let's put that there and then this is so fun it's like doing a puzzle almost and then oh this is the other the poet funny how i say this is so fun like a puzzle and i didn't if you guys remember my collective haul i got a whatchamacallit i got a mark puzzle and i oh my god like update on that puzzle i did like the border which is the easiest part obviously and like some of the middle parts but i totally gave up and it took me like it almost took me like five hours i think or even more than that just to do that so yeah, I gave up on the puzzle. It's just sitting in my sister's room, so <laughs> I totally gave up on the puzzle though. Okay, so that's all the an ode photo cards I got. I'm still missing one, two, um, three photo cards, I think. Is that it really? Three? Oh dang. Oh wait, actually I think I'm missing one from begin. I just didn't leave a space. Oops. Okay. But I'm missing like four, so that's not that bad, honestly. And then and then these are my duplicate ones. So these are the ones I already have. So I'll, I'll like sell these or trade them for something. And then this is a Hangare fan sign photo card I also got from Bai. This is a really cute card. So that's why I had to get it. They have so many like fan sign photo cards though. It's so annoying. So hopefully in the future I'll be able to get those. But for now, we'll put this here. And then I bought this. Um, this is from the repackage Polaroid. This has been in my liked stuff for on Depop for such a long time. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll finally get it. So yeah, I guess we can put this here with this. Ta-da. Okay. And then I, I should put these extra cards in the back, you know? So I'll go ahead and I'll put a um, extra nine pocket page right here. And so if you guys see this and you're, if you're interested in buying or trading for like another Vernon card, or honestly, I'm even down to trade for like other 17 members because I've been into 17 so much lately. So I might want to trade for other members. So, or like cross trade from any album, who knows? But yeah, anyways, that was everything for my ults. That seriously took forever, but we're done with that. So let's move on. Okay, since we have Stray Kids photo cards out right here, let's just go ahead and put these all away. <laughs> Oh my god, I have so many because um, I just unboxed In Life, and then this is from Stay in Playground, and then yada yada, so I have so much shit to put away. But yeah, anyways, let's see, do I have any IN stuff? I probably should have done this beforehand. Oh wait, I think I have one actually, which is this one, this pre-order card from Soundwave. Oh, this is not Stray Kids, what? So let's put this one IN card. I'm still missing this pink border card, oh my god. But to be honest, I'm not really that focused on collecting other members of Stray Kids right now, so yeah, I really do need to save my money because college, so, and I'm not gonna have a job, oh my god. Wait, I actually have so much to talk about, but I'm just so busy storing my photo cards. But anyways, okay, now we have Cheese Hung. I have a lot of Cheese Hung stuff actually, so let's put those away. Should I just talk about life or something? I don't know, but yeah the reason okay i said earlier in this video that i'm trying to like film all these videos before i leave for college you guys are like what you're leaving for college even though i literally mention it like in every single video of mine but yeah i am moving away to college super literally this weekend like it's so crazy how time just flies by once again because of quarantine like time just like flies by oh shoot this is an extra card i'll put this in the back but time seriously just Oh my god, where did the time go? I can't believe I'm already moving away. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so I move in this Sunday. I actually was supposed to move in on Tuesday of next week, but since my parents had work, obviously it's better to move in on a weekend anyways. So yeah, so that means my last day of work, the place that I work right now is this Saturday because, you know, obviously on Sunday I move in. So yeah, I worked at a boba shop for like over a year. I worked at, I guess I'll say it now since I'm not gonna work there anymore, but I worked at Ding Tea, if you guys know what Ding Tea is. It's honestly, y'all, for my boba lovers out there, Ding Tea is honestly one of the best boba shops. Like I'm not even just saying that because I worked there. Like seriously, the boba and the tea quality is just, oh, like 
It's so crazy because I used to like not really care about where to go. If a place was good, it was good. Like my favorite places was Boba Time and um, Share Tea. But like ever since I started working at Ding Tea, like bitch, Ding Tea is like so up there now. Like the tea quality is just so much better in my opinion. Like it's more rich in flavor and stuff. So if you guys disagree, then like get out. But I'm just kidding. Obviously people have their own different tastes, but Honestly, share tea though, low-key kind of trash in my opinion. Like I know there's a lot of people that love um, share tea, but share tea in my opinion, not that good. So yeah, like the milk tea is like not that flavorful and they have that little like brown sugar drink, you know, like the tiger like sugar drink. They have a knockoff at share tea and I tried it once. Oh my God, that shit was not good. So sorry, I'm like flaming share tea right now, but if you guys have a chance to go to Ding Tea, if you guys have one near you, then bitch, go there. Like, super good. So, yeah. <laughs> There's my little boba rant. But, yeah, I can't believe I'm not going to be working anymore because, um, obviously, I, I can't because I'm moving. It's, like, too far away and stuff. I think, I mean, to be honest, working at Ding Tea was kind of, like, stressful because if it got busy, then, like, it would be hella stressful. And our AC doesn't work at all so it's super hot and i like suffer every time i go to work so sometimes i don't really look forward to going to work but obviously i need it for the money so i can get all this k-pop shit but i don't even know what i'm gonna do without a job i'm literally trying my best to get a job while i'm in college like i apply to like my like these job openings at like on campus and then i also there's like a town center area near my college so i'm gonna tr try and like apply near there hopefully they're looking for workers because of like quarantine like a lot of people are looking for jobs but hopefully people are hiring so that i can get a job so i can like have like an efficient like income especially now like literally of course out of all times that groups decide to have a comeback they like everyone is coming back in october and it's actually insane like why are there so many freaking people coming back in october it's seriously not cool because i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna have a job i'm gonna be jobless during um october so i mean my parents are gonna be nice and give me an allowance so i can buy like college essential and stuff because they do that with my sister so they know that i don't have a job now so they're gonna be a little nicer and give me a small allowance yeah, i'm really trying to get a job so i can continue to buy k-pop stuff so that my channel can continue to thrive but i don't know we'll see i guess hopefully i can get a job at like target or something i don't even know at this point like i'm really scared for the future if i don't upload that many videos on this channel you guys will know why it's because i'm jobless and i'm extra broke like seriously even if when i have a job right now i'm still like hella broke because of like you know so many k-pop shit to buy but now i'm gonna be extra broke because i don't even have a job anymore so yeah, and then, so, I did I even talk about this? I totally forgot, but earlier in this video, I said that I was filming, like, a bunch of videos before I go to college, because I have, I filmed a video, like, my organizing video, and then I'm filming the storing video today, and then I'm also, on Friday, I'm gonna film, oh my god, Friday, though? Holy shit. Like, all these videos on Friday is gonna be up, like, before this storing video. I don't even know when the storing video is gonna be up because, like, I don't want to, like, post, like, five videos in a row. That's kind of a waste. So, I'm, I obviously want to, like, evenly space out these videos. So, I have no idea when this video is gonna come out. Yeah, I have so many videos to film this Friday. I have so many unboxings to film because this Friday, Super M is having their comeback. So, I'm planning on getting those. And then I'm getting two packages this Friday. I'm getting um, my 17 Japanese albums for a 24 hour and then my treasure albums for their newest comeback. So I don't know if I'm gonna film all three unboxings in one day. I probably will because Saturday I'm probably gonna be super busy because that's the day before I move in. So yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm seriously like pre-filming all these videos so that I don't need to worry about filming once I'm in college. Like I don't need to go back home or something. I can just edit the videos in my dorms. Yeah, that's my plan. So, and along with filming and editing all these videos, I have to also pack for college and go to work still because I have two more shifts left. So pray for me y'all. I seriously have so much on my plate, but you know what? 
that's just life. This is what I also get for procrastinating because I honestly could have filmed these videos sooner, but it's just my fault for being a procrastinator. So yeah, I just realized I'm going back here because I want to put all these photo card, I mean, these photo book photo cards all together. So this is stay in London and then this is stay in playground. So I want to be a little more neat and consistent, not just throwing photo cards everywhere. But yeah, oh my God, like I said, I'm like Sungmin blessed cursed, blessed, whatever you want to call it. I always pull Sungmin and stuff, so I seriously have a lot of Sungmin um, things to put away. So first we have... Oh shoot, I totally forgot about this. So I haven't... I got an extra copy of Yellowwood because I sold my previous Yellowwood copy because someone was in the second page, so I got rid of it and I got another copy. It's gonna be my collective haul. Also don't know when that video is going to go up, but it'll be up, so... Oh, that means I need to shift everything, oh my god. Oh wait, actually no, I could just put this here, and then I could just put this here. <laughs> Duh. I, d I don't think I got- oh wait, I did get Sungmin photo cards in Go Live, but I traded them all, so that's why I don't have any, but... I got a duplicate album in my unboxing, so that's why I have two of these. <laughs> So freaking sad. And then I pulled his, what's this? Sub K card. Let's put this away. And then I pulled two of his things in Stay in Playground. I'm gonna put these down here since they're like photo book, photo cards. That's so trippy. Photo book, photo cards, photo book, photo cards. Oh my god, I'm running out of sleeves again. Oh my god, how many sleeves am I using? See, this is why I can't sleeve all my photo cards because the sleeves go by like that. So I will I will be broke, extra broke from buying sleeves. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot to put this IN away. Okay, we'll put this at the end. Oops. My desk is just such a mess. Okay, Changbin, we do have a lot of. I also pulled his Yellowwood card in my extra copy, so let's shift these down this up here wow i don't have that many changmin photo cards because i usually like trade them but okay and then we have this which is the top photo card let's put this here and then what else oh yeah we have this the pre-order. Oh, I want to put these in error order, so I'm going to shift these up here because I am that extra, but you know what? I cannot be lazy anymore. I've been too lazy in the past, so now I will not be lazy and I'll do this right. Okay, now for unicards. Again, <sighs> I pulled, oh my god, I pulled three of the exact same unicards, so please trade me. I, I think I'm missing one more of the dance racha, so someone trade me an extra dance racha so yeah and then one hoodie dacha i guess but yeah they're starting to do unicarts again so that's fun this is where i put all my group and unicarts so everything is all in one nice place so i guess we could, just for fun let's put all of these three in the same row so it's like a full <laughs> oh my god this reminds me of like the korean uh, like photo card collectors who have like an entire page of the same photo card, which is just like why like what's the point of doing that? I've seen that go around and I'm just like What? Why would you do that? That's insane. And then this is an extra photo card And then let's put this away. Oh damn it. I need to get an extra page. Luckily I bought a shit ton of extra pages, so I am not gonna be running out in the near time future, so that's great for me. Literally about 400 extra binder pages because I'm extra like that. But yeah, oh my God, this literally took like 30 minutes and I'm, I only did two binders. I need to speed this up. Okay, next up we can move on to my boy group three binder. This is Treasure and 17 and EXO. Um, I think I only have, <gasps> oh my God, you're joking. I forgot to put these away. Oh my God, I'm so, <laughs> we're going back to Stray Kids. Oh my See, this is why I don't really want to like talk while I'm doing this because I always get sidetracked and I forget to do shit and 
It's just a mess. Okay, I need to put this away first, so... Oh my god, this is the Yellowwood postcard, so I need to put this up here. The thing is though, this sticks out, so... Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm breaking my own rules, but I'm gonna put this down here just for the sake of me not damaging this postcard, so... Yeah, don't hate me. Okay, and then... We have these, so let's go to the back, and then, all right, so they have these unit postcards, luckily I pulled both of the units, so that's great, and then we have these scratch postcards from Stain Playground, I just wanted to add them in my binder, so I still haven't scratched the message off in the back, but I feel like I'm too lazy to do that, so, oh my god, please tell me if you spit. Okay, they fit. Oh my god, I thought for a second they didn't. I got so scared because obviously there's eight postcards, so four pocket pages will make the mo most sense. Awesome. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna quickly put these away. We have no time to waste. Oh my god, these postcards for some reason they smell like they smell like a. Uh, like a tube that you use when you're swimming, like it smells like plasticky, which is very strange. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I smelled it up close. It smells like a fucking swimming tube or like a brand new, like plastic bouncy ball. That's nasty. Okay, now let's move on. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything again. Okay, now we have this binder. Let's go to the end because all I need to put away is treasure for this. So let's go to the back and we can finally start our treasure collection. Oh my gosh, this is literally empty because I didn't have any photo cards before, but now we do. So yeah, as you can see, I got Treasure's first album because I got them really late though because I joined the group order for them. So yeah, but I can't believe it. just this is just from two albums and it comes with this is like 14 cards like that's insanity. I mean, one of these, I mean, two of these cards are the K-Town for your pre-order benefits. So I grabbed two pages. That should be enough. Since I joined the group order, like they did like photo card sorting. The thing is though, my bias, I have so many biases in Treasure right now. I have um, Hyunsuk, Mashiho, and then Haruto. Those are like my top three biases. And I got no Hyunsuk photo cards. Like, He's like one of my favorites. I got zero photo cards, which I'm really sad about. And then um, I got two Haruto cards and one Mashiho. And then the rest of the photo cards, I just put in like random order because I had no idea. And I guess I put Chengu as like fourth or something because I got four of his photo cards. But I mean, you know what? I'm not complaining. So yeah, but I, I'm just really sad I didn't get any Hyunsuk photo cards because you know, he's like my top bias and I didn't get any of his photo cards, so. The main reason why I joined a group order for this is because um, the person who was holding the group order was selling them for so cheap. Like they were selling them for $9 an album and they said that the next like three joiners would get free EMS. So all I needed to pay was domestic and for the albums. So I was like, I'll join. So I got, I paid like 20 bucks for the, for like, two albums, which is really cheap, so. Yeah, that's the main reason why I joined a group order. Obviously, then I would have just bought the albums myself, but I didn't even stand Treasure until like um, after Boy came out. I didn't like stand them, whatchamacallit, because of their TV show. I stand them after that, so that's why I don't know like all the members' names and shit, so I'm really bad with names, and the fact that there's 12 members is just gonna make it harder, but oh well. And then. Oh, I want to put the group cards in a separate page. So, of course, there's... Wait, it's so weird. How come I got... Does it come with two group cards per album? So it's like this? Or did I just get four group cards? I'm not sure, but... I want to put these all in one page, so... You know, just in case in the future... Oh my god, they literally, like... Ugh. I can't believe their next album is coming this Friday, and I literally got this album last week. The fact that they had a comeback after like one month though, like one month, that's really crazy. Like I feel like that's like one of the fastest like comebacks ever. I mean, I know Treasure's debut was like delayed a lot, so maybe that's why, but 
I don't know, like having a comeback like only a month after their debut is a little crazy to me, so yeah, but it's it, it's here, so yeah, I will do an unboxing when my albums come this Friday, but yeah, okay, that's it for this finder. All right, there's a lot of boy group photo cards that I have, so that's why I'm only doing boy groups, but this is the last one, and then we'll move on to girl groups, because I mean, I don't even collect that many girl groups, so there's that, but what else do I have? So I have these NCT cards here. Okay, so, and then I have these two. Oh wait, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and then these are just girl group stuff. Okay, so it's literally just like five things to put away, but anyways, here's my NCT and BTS binder. I got this Kino for so cheap though, like, it's crazy how cheap I got this for from Baiyi. Like someone was selling this and the Kino for like $10. I was like, what? Because people would sell this for like $35 or something. So truly a bargain, I'll tell ya. I guess I'll just put this here for now. I don't know. Okay, let's put this in a better sleeve. See, these were the sleeves that I used to own, like these cheap ass plastic sleeves. Like, bitch, what is that? That's nasty. Disgusting. Let's put them in this beautiful, thick ass ultra pro sleeve yes see goes in perfectly so but i'm not gonna sleeve all my photo cards because i can't afford to do that okay and then i actually traded this um geno card for mark's final round photo card and then i just bought it again so yeah truly i'm not that's not scamming that's just being smart you know so yeah, and then let's put this circle card away. I put all my circle cards together, so it makes it a little more cohesive. So yeah, and then I got Lucas's like two um, Super M cards from Baiyi, so let's put those away. Oh my God, my, my dog is barking downstairs. <laughs> I almost said my bark is dogging downstairs. <laughs> I don't know which ones are the Korean and which one's the American press, but these are literally like all the same photos almost. Okay, wow, this Lucas page is like complete. So that's nice. Okay, now we have my girl groups binder. Twice is not in this because twice, I have so many twice photo cards that it needed its own binder. So these are literally just the rest of my girl groups as you can see right there. So yeah, and it's not even that full either, so. but Let's take out everything that I need to put away. There's not too much, so it shouldn't take that long, but it's pretty much just Itzy and Red Velvet. Oh wait, Red Velvet's first though, so let's put Red Velvet first away. Let's put Red Velvet away first, there we go. Correct my grammar. Okay, I already put all the photo cards away. These are just postcards, sir. Oh yeah, I wanted to put Silreen and I Irene's Wait, did I say Solreen and Irene? <laughs> My Sulgi and Irene like stuff separately from Red Velvet since they're like a separate unit. So let's do that. Four pocket for these ones. Oh, I just hit my camera. I am so like hungry or like desperate. I'm pretty sure that's a better word for a Red Velvet OT5 comeback. I can't believe their last comeback was freaking um, Psycho, which was December of last year. It's almost October and we haven't gotten a OT5 comeback. Obviously it's because of Wendy's um, injury. <sighs> it's just so sad though that, <sighs> and they didn't even promote Psycho either. Like that's, that's the sadder thing too. Actually, no, <laughs> what am I saying? Obviously Wendy's injury is the saddest thing, but it's just so sad how we've just not, we're not, are not being fed right now. And like people are giving up on the fact that Red Velvet might not even have a comeback this year. But I seriously hope SM pulls through. I mean, SM has truly disappointed us a lot, so... Oh my god, this this is not gonna fit, is it? I wanted to use a three pocket binder page because I wanted it to go like this. But... This is not gonna fit. Does it fit in this? Oh, definitely not. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Oh, never mind, it does fit. What am I saying? Okay, yeah, it fits. It fits like literally perfectly, like, ugh, I have to like squeeze it in a little. Woo! Oh my god, it's kind of like wavy. <laughs> oh god, this is kind of a mistake, but it fits, so 
it's fine. Okay, last but not least, we have Itsy. So we just have their not shy stuff. So let's put those away. I'm gonna put all the unit ones in one page. So let's put it like, like this. Okay, that's it. I only pulled two. And then I pulled so many Dujin cards. Oh my god. But I still haven't traded this extra. So if you guys want to trade for another type of Dujin solo card, hit me up. I'm down to trade. My DMs are open. So yeah. And then we have these tattoos, which I also only... I mean, I also got a dupe for, so I got Yeji's twice, but I don't really care about that that much. I don't, I'm not really like down to trade it. I'm just not, I'm, yeah. This one, let's use a three pocket page because there's only three tattoos. So we'll put this one here. Let's put the duplicates down here. This one should fit on the top, right? Let's see. Yes! Oh my god, it fits perfectly. Oh my god, I love these three pocket pages. I don't know why I didn't get these sooner, but I invested and I got them. Okay, and now we just have the not shy, like, wanted posters. These are gigantic though, like, compared to their previous pre-order postcards. Like, what? Am I supposed to put these in, like, one pocket pages or something? I don't even know. I don't think they'll even fit in, like, two pocket pages. I have a bunch of these. Because a really long time ago, I bought like a hundred pack of these sleeve protectors. I think it was for like an assignment for school or something. Like I had to like hand in a report or something. And obviously putting it in a sleeve is much more professional. So the only ones they had at Target were a hundred packs. So I literally bought the hundred pack. And you know what? It's coming in handy to this day because... Now that I'm collecting photo cards, it makes life a little easier. I know there's like professional, like ultra pro, like one pocket sleeves, but like, why would I spend extra money on that when I have these, you know? These are just as good. It does the job, okay? Okay, should I put it? Yeah, this is the front, duh. Okay. Yeah, these things are huge compared to their previous um, pre-order stuff. So, let's put that there. Oh my god, this fell off. Wait, why did I open this? What was the point of me opening that? What? <laughs> I just realized that I did that. Like, there's no point of me doing that. Okay. This is kind of not satisfying though, because it's just, there's just like a giant gap right here. But it does- Oh my god! <laughs> I just did it. I just opened this like- What? I just did that like unconsciously. Oh my god, what the heck is wrong with me? Did you guys see that? What the hell? I literally just... I don't even know what my hands are doing. What? That was so weird. Why did I just do that? Okay. All right, I think I pretty much finished, I believe. Oh my god, this is another annoying thing about having clear binders. Like, you can see what's in this pocket. Like, why don't these binders have a back pocket? Like, I honestly wouldn't mind. Like if like there's a pocket on the back so it would be hidden like why does it have to be in the front only who designed this but anyways that was everything so that wraps up this entire video oh my god this video is almost one hour long is this my longest storing video like till this day i don't know but Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for sitting down and chatting, just chilling, vibing with me. Maybe you were like playing this video in the background while you're doing like homework or whatever. I don't know why you would want me as your homework buddy, but yeah, if you guys watch this till the end, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Peace, love, live, happiness. Happiness. Okay, bye for real. <laughs>